Good morning, Vanessa. Uh, good morning, Dean. And where are we? We are at the Benny Vidi Coxie Kitchen and in the, the Gingerbread Cottage. Bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast in Victoria. What does British Vinny Columbia, Canada? What does Benny Vidi Coxie mean? It means I came, I saw, I cooked. I came, I saw, I, I cooked. cooked. Yeah, okay, love. for me that would be Benny Vidi Edie. <laughs> I came, I saw, I ate. Okay, yeah, so what are we yeah. doing today? Today we are going to do whole cabbage heads, sour cabbage heads, which okay. are very important for fantastic cabbage rolls. If you really want to do good cabbage rolls, also use the fermented, like the naturally fermented cabbage heads. Okay. okay? Um, now, I have made my um, cabbage heads already a week ago, but I will walk you through it and show yeah. you exactly how it's done. Okay. Um, first of all, you need white cabbage, of course. Yeah. What you do is you cut this last little ugly slice off. Okay. And then you take a pointed knife, very okay. sharp knife, yeah. and you start to um, hollow this them out here. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, I'm going to spare you the whole thing. We have one here that's already partly fermented. Yes. That's what it looks like. So you go all the way in yeah. the thing as far yeah. as you can. Yeah. And then what? What you do then is you put a s very good sea salt in. Very which good is salt. Himalayan, no, not salt, sea salt. Sea salt. Sea oh, salt. Okay. There's a difference. And the reason the Himalayan salt is so good is because it comes from the mountains. It's yeah. mined in the Himalayan mountains. Yes. And it comes from oceans from, from thousands of years back. Yes. So it doesn't have the impurities that normal sea salt would have. Yeah, okay. There's also another very good sea salt that's the French, that is gray. Yeah. Then we have the English one from Essex that's Malden sea salt and yeah. of course there are all kinds of others. There's Antarctic okay. sea salt comes from South Africa. Okay. So we have that as well. All right. so, so now you have a yeah. cabbage head full of salt. Full of salt. But what it's also the hole is so to allow the to penetrate, fermentation yeah, to yeah, come the into yeah. to the lead, in between the leaves. Yes, yeah, right. The liquid. Right. That's too, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So what you do now and I have the heads here. First mm -hmm. you put in on the bottom yes. and I'll show you here what we have. Some dill stems. Okay. These here I had frozen. Yes. Because what I do is I chop the fresh dill up, yeah. freeze it, yes. or use it fresh and the rest goes in the freezer for yeah. my cabbages. And okay. here I have some bigger ones. Those yes. are probably the ones I will use for this. All right. So now we, we put the dill in mm -hmm. and then we put slices of um, of this horseradish, uh, horseradish in, yeah. and here I have a whole horseradish okay. that is unpeeled and unsliced, of course. Yeah. So you put that in the bottom, and then you stack your your um, cabbages in, okay. one after the other. In All this right. one here, yeah. we have four cabbages. Okay. Now you'll be wondering about. The what? color, right. How much do you add water to this? No. It's not like regular sauerkraut no, no, where you no, don't no, add water. No, no. It's you, yeah. It's it's this here is you have to add lightly salted water. You okay. boil the water up with a little salt, yeah. make it like it should take like a nice soup. Yeah. So that's kind of level of salt. Let yeah. it cool down, pour yeah. it over the cabbage heads, put some more dill on top and some more of these sliced um, things rather. here. Now I also use the insides of my regular cabbage and just threw them in. Yeah. Right? And you put them in. Now you need a weight on. Why is that pink? Oh, the pink, that is kind of a cosmetic thing. I put a slice of a red, 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 cabbage? red cabbage in. Yeah. This is, of course, already is going for a yeah. week. So yeah. the, so the color is drawn out yeah. and get, that gives it a wonderful pink color and the reason you want that is because this juice is fantastic to drink. Oh yeah. They actually sell it in the health food stores, yes. the sauerkraut juice. So yes. I would suggest after, when yeah. you're done with it, freeze your heads, take your juice, fill it in bottles and freeze it as well. Okay. Because you cannot yeah. process it, it will destroy all the goodness. Now, you the, take the juice, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah the okay. juice is very good for, for lactic acid in your stomach. If you have stomach problems, drink yeah. it before you eat, yeah. right? Now we put a plate on top. Yeah. That seems to be enough here. Yeah. Then we take um, 
Frag. Very, very clean. Yeah, towel. it is very clean. It was just in the mm -hmm. sauerkraut. Actually, what I would do first, if I, in this case, I would put a, a lid on it, and mm -hmm. then this, and then something else. Now, the old crock pots, yes. the good ones, like the real ones for sauerkraut that yeah. we unfortunately don't have, yeah. had a spout tear in the bottom. Yeah. Because what is happening is the salt goes to the bottom, gathers there, yeah. and doesn't come to the top. So yeah. the top gets all rotten. You know, okay. it's like, the, like you do a, a, yeah. a tea, yeah. like a compost yeah. tea or yeah. something. Yeah. So you have to... Um, fall off now. You have to get, every day, you have to bring the water up because yeah. you can't just take it out on the bottom and pour it in the top like okay. you did with the old ones. Yeah. So what I have, I have a food grade um, water. pipe here. Yeah. 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 And what I do is I blow in. Okay. And you make bubbles and that mixes your that water That brings up. the salt up and mixes it. You have to do that every day. Otherwise, yeah. you will get very, very foul-smelling cabbage. Okay. And you realize our cabbage never smells. It's yeah. in the middle of the kitchen, never yeah. smells. You never right? even notice never it's even growing. Notice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, should you get some little foam things on the top here going after a while, yeah. then just skim them off. You okay. can take a paper towel, take them out, throw it out. Yeah. Check it every day. Yeah. Okay. That's what I have to say. Yeah. And then I close this. Yeah. Put this on top, and I also like to put a board on top just in case. Mm -hmm. Right? And now yeah. it's nice and closed, and watch it every day. And tell me again what the purpose of the cabbage is for? The pur what, that you're making sour, you're making sour whole, cabbages. whole cabbages, yeah. sauerkraut, which, yeah. which makes yeah. nice cabbage roll you leaves. You can take right? the leaves right off, you don't have yeah. to boil them, nothing. Yeah. You can use them right for, for a cabbage rolls. But what I've seen you do is you freeze them. That's what I do. Freeze the heads whole, and then that makes them even more um, malleable to, yeah, to wrap, right? Yeah, you don't necessarily have to do that with these ones, yeah. but I freeze them because I make four, for instance, yeah. and I only need one for yeah. cabbage rolls, yeah. and the rest I freeze. But then after that, the leaves are even a little They're further breaking They're even a little more uh, pliable yeah. to do your cabbage rolls. So when you wrap yeah. them... You yeah, and those make fantastic cabbage rolls. Okay, so do you have anything more to say about the, um, the process? I've seen you drinking the juice. I'm not juice, quite so brave, but yeah, I know. The juice if you grew fantastic. up with it, I guess that's yeah, uh, what you do. The juice is fantastic for, yeah. um, for probiotics, you know, for yeah, your stomach. Yeah, for the, for the chemical. And that's why you also should use the sea salt, the real, like the Himalaya yeah. sea salt, because it has all the minerals in it. Yeah. The okay. other salts don't have the minerals. They're chemically extracted. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and refined just like and sugar, refined, I guess. like yeah. sugar, the white salt. So please okay. use sea salt, and then you right. can drink it, and it's very beneficial. Okay. So what do you call this, then? You call it whole head sauerkraut. Yeah, whole head yeah, sauerkraut. Can you use it for anything else other than cabbage roll? Um, you could slice it and just use it to as, cab as, as sauerkraut. As sauerkraut, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you make lots of casseroles with yes, sauerkraut. Casserole. Like what do you call it? Klausenburger kraut? You can make Klausenburger kraut too. Or you lazy cabbage for, rolls yeah, or yeah. anything like Better that. Better for that is to use the regular sauerkraut. And we are going yeah. to do another session for that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Come back. Come back to the Vinavidi Coxie yeah. kitchen at the Gingerbread Cottage Bed and Breakfast in Victoria, B.C., Canada.